G'day ladies and gentlemen, Pride of the Year, and welcome to my first Seed Spotlight. I suppose you can call it a spotlight, why not? Yeah, um, never done one of these before, so I figured, hey, why not? So, I was tinkering around with uh, Minecraft, and I thought, you know, just try throwing a few words and see if I can come up with anything that seemed pretty cool. And, uh, well, I was watching Nearby Gamers' uh, live stream he did that was on his channel, and they mentioned they were going to start trying to form like a little group. Kind of like the, you know, the um, uh, the creatures or the outsiders, but don't, I think actually technically the outsiders, I think, are no more, but anyway, whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, same kind of kind of thing. And I came up with the name of The Misfits. So I thought, yeah, okay, I thought, why not? I'll give it a go and see what I can actually do to actually try it. So, well, created a new world, put it into creative, more board options, and I've just typed in Misfits, M I double S. F I T S misfits and the structures on world type that whatever okay create new world so I thought yeah why not just load it up see if you can come up with anything pretty cool or not and well it did <laughs> in my humble opinion of course and so yeah let the world just just to uh, let the world uh, generate a little bit here and yeah so this is it this is where you start this is your spawn point right there right on that block right there and you get a pig coming over to say good day as well. Hello, piggy. So yeah. Anyway, this is it. So this is a nice little spawn area, nice open plain area. The uh, bit of water there, and directly over there is a is a uh, ocean biome. So that's kind of cool. See, fly up. It's just ocean. Even though it's still kind of generating or trying to. But uh, yeah. So this is a quick fly around the, this direct area we're in. Nice little ravine there. Um, actually, I think this is supposed to be part of a ravine, but because that patch of sand and water was there, it's actually blocked it off. So you get this little uh, hollowed out part that uh, kind of thought it might have been a dungeon or something, but it's nothing of the kind. It's just a hollowed out little spot. <laughs> but uh, speaking of a dungeon, ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. what's down there? I didn't even notice that. Oh, nice little bit of coal there. Might go somewhere quite nifty. But what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and right where this pig is just heading, we'll follow this pig and oh, look at that. Nice little bit of coal. Uh, coal. Is that coal? No, I don't think so. A little bit more like iron to me. But look. Oh yeah. Very cool. Look at this. <laughs> yep. Dungeon. Zombie, obviously. And there are a couple of chests, but I'm not going to open them. I'm going to let you guys work that one out for yourself. See what's in there. <laughs> Just because I'm evil like that. And yeah, so that's one dungeon. Mm hmm. One. So, what we're going to do is we're going to come flying over here. Now, your spawn was pretty much where that pig is. Or thereabouts. Actually, yeah, it was just over there where that pig is. And we're going to come down here. And we'll just drop down here. So I load this creeper here and a few spiders. Okay, fellas. And we'll cruise up past this guy. I think only two of them. And we'll go up here. Up, up we go. And hopefully you guys can follow where I was going. Don't really want to fall down there. And we'll come along here. Oh, oh, what on earth is this? Oh, it's another dungeon, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Again, unfortunately, it's another. It would have been good if it was a, if it was a um, skelly one, but it is another zombie. And uh, uh, I'll have a look in this chest. Ooh, nice bit of iron there. A couple of buckets. Very cool. I'm not going to open both of them though. I'll leave you to work the other one out. And so yeah, but otherwise, this cave system is pretty damn massive, as you can quite clearly tell. It goes down, it'll pretty much go, I believe it pretty much goes right down to bedrock, so you won't have a trouble doing a reasonable amount of spelunking, and as you can see, there's an awful lot of mobs around, so. Whoa, that's uh, careful falling down there, people, because that'll hurt, won't it, Skelly? All right, so let's get out of this uh, awesome spot, and let's have a bit of a float around, let's have a look around the, around the, uh, around the area. So again, spawns just here, and it disappears off into a. Uh, sorry, just turn my head away from the camera then, uh, from the microphone then. 
We have a swamp biome, which is very neat. And continuing on, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I actually had a phone call. <laughs> and continuing on, uh, we are now entering, as you can quite clearly see, a, a desert. Very cool. It's actually a reasonable size one, this one as well. So it goes on for a bit. It's not overly massive, but it's still pretty reasonable size. And that's the original jungle biome we saw before, but keep note of that one because we will come back to that. But we're going to fly around here. Just have a look around at this desert. Not that there's anything overly exciting, apart from uh, this uh, very nice little uh, river that's flowing right through it. Very cool. And we'll just cruise over here a little bit because the uh, desert should end just over here and you should be able to... Uh... So the river is trying to continue on there. <laughs> And, whoa, I think I'm traveling a little bit too quick here. It's uh, sort of preventing it well from loading like it probably should. Not quite sure why it's taking so long to load. Actually, I've never really had this problem before. But uh, I might just wait a little bit and let it actually sort of pick itself up. That's supposed to help a little bit quicker, I think. But uh, as you can see, trees are now actually starting to form. That does lead off into a forest biome and swamp again on the other side. Which is very cool, but otherwise doesn't really go anywhere else. There's nothing overly exciting that way. So we'll just turn around and we'll sort of head off this generalish direction. Because we have now just hit another uh, jungle, which is very cool. And again, a bit more of the uh, bit of a jungle there. And there's, there's the swamp. But uh, what we're going to be looking for, ladies and gentlemen, is if I can find it. So I think I just ended in the wrong part here. Oh, I went too far. <laughs> that, as again, you can see that there is a plains biome just there. Uh, nice few little cave systems that could come out of that, but there's no, I don't. There's I did have a quick look around and couldn't actually find any any uh, um, villages. But uh, anyway, we'll come down here and I'll give you the basic coordinates of where this is. As you can see, look at that. Looks like a meteor's gone straight through it. Let's do a shift F3, and that should give you the basic coordinates of where we are, so you can find the mouth of this massive cave. And we'll go have a look inside, because what's in here? Put some torches if I can. There's an Enderman party obviously going on. And we'll come down here, past this, uh, these two idiots. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, we just found a pretty damn cool looking... Abandoned mine. <laughs> this is pretty awesome. It is pretty big too. It goes on for a reasonable amount of reasonable distance. So you'll have a lot of fun investigating this one. Again, I'm not going to go too much into it. I'll just walk down a couple of these little passageways. Just have a bit of a look. Oh, there's a chest. Okay, I will open this one. What's this one got? Oh, nice few seeds there. Some lapis. Very nice. So that's pretty close there to this big open area here what's this down here anything exciting just here no okay nothing overly exciting just here. but again this is only the very very early stages of this whole wine shaft so don't think that's not much there because it is pretty damn impressive all right so let ladies and gentlemen we've had a good look at the well, not a good look but there's a look at that mine shaft and we'll head out of here say good day to these gentlemen hello you man, bro? Mm -hmm. Of course you are. You're an Enderman. All right. So now we're going to cruise up. There's the cave. And let's just fly back towards that other jungle that we passed before. It should be just straight back along this along this line here. Because this pretty much that's the ocean. And that, even though you can't really tell. Uh, actually, I'll make sure I'm going the right way here. So I was going the right way. So it actually goes out into the ocean. I was heading the wrong way. How typical. <laughs> so yes, now we're heading the right way. And this is pretty cool. You're going to love this bit. Because, hey, we've just found a couple of dungeons. We've just found an abandoned mine. Uh, nice open areas to be able to do like any of your, any of your building type worlds. Uh, probably could be very nice for like a build craft type world. Or your technic pack or your ticket type worlds. Whatever you prefer to use. Uh, nice flat areas to be working in. And all right, so we're now moving into this biome. Uh, again, I, hope, I do apologize for the uh, lateness of the world trying to uh, spawn here, but um, 
I think it's because of the fact I'm in creative mode and flying around, it's just slowing it down a bit. But uh, yeah, what we're going to be finding just here, ladies and gentlemen, is something that is pretty damn special because we'll come just down here. We're pretty much right on ground level, right? This is pretty much ground level. Let's have a quick look. And there's the basic coordinates, just so you can see it. You're not going to leave it too much longer. You can just pause the video. What's this below me? What on earth is this below me? You're kidding, aren't you? You are kidding. No, I'm not, ladies and gentlemen. It is a stronghold that is pretty much just on, just underneath the surface, in the right on the edge of the uh, swamp and the um, uh, what is it? The and the ocean biomes. That is so cool. And just so you can actually see it, there is the end portal. So it does exist. It's very cool. Yeah, jump in there, dude. Jump in there. Good. <laughs> And yeah, so how cool is that? That is just unbelievable. I don't think I've ever actually come across a uh, stronghold. I was trying to think. I was going to say I was about to call it a fortress, but a uh, stronghold that actually has the um, well. Oh, so I thought it was, I don't know why. For some reason, thought there was a cow there. Then I don't know why, but yeah. So a, a stronghold that is literally just underneath the surface. That is pretty damn impressive. <laughs> all right now i'm going to come back pretty much to the spawn because one thing i do want to do is I, I haven't even done this bit yet but i want to just have a quick look at the i'm going to quickly just make that daytime uh i just i actually want to create myself a portal to the nether just so i can have a quick look just what's directly inside the nether and i'll just come over here to this plains by near where basically near where spawn is and so just bear with me for a sec while i just uh tmi myself some uh, obsidian, and I also want, I probably can actually grab it from there, but whatever. Oh, there it is there. That'll do. I'll steal it from there then, whatever. <laughs> and I'll just do a quick portal here. And that should be three high, that should be right, I think. Okay, let's have, because I haven't actually done this, so I wouldn't have a clue what's on the other side. So there's the portal. Let's have a quick jump through and see what's just on the other side. So I'm not going to say it's going to be the same for everybody, but I can't remember if it does should form the same way or not, whether or whether it's completely random. But let's just have a look anyway. Ooh. Okay. That's kind of cool. Nice open area to actually spawn in. And again, it's just taking an awfully long time to actually generate. You mad, bro? You sound mad. <laughs> Damn zombie pigmen. But this is the nether, ladies and gentlemen. And again, this is taking very, very long time to actually generate, so... Hmm. Bit odd. Maybe the fog's up or something, I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah. So anyway, that's the nether. Just thought case anyone was actually interested. Again, I'm not sure if these generate the same every time you actually load this world, or if it, or if it will be random. I can't quite remember. Uh, I was just wondering whether there might be possibly a uh, dungeon, uh, sorry, not dungeons, a nether fortress close by, and it doesn't seem as though there is, but uh, anyway, whatever. <laughs> Alright, anyway, that's that's it. I might just quickly just cruise back through the portal. Nothing just down there? No? Okay. Let's cruise back through the portal. And we'll get back to the normal overworld. And that is pretty much it. That is this seed. So, yeah. Um, as I said, it is called a Misfits. M-I-S-S-F-I-T-S. -S -S. So, yeah, definitely go check it out. Everything you'd want in Minecraft is very... Well, I think is actually very close to spawn. So, yeah, that's it. Holy chicken. Can I set you on fire? Yep, cool. Oh, missed him. Oh, there he goes. So, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely go check it out. Um, it is very, very cool, very cool seed, in my humble opinion. And, yeah, so that's it. So... Yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that cool stuff. And as always, keep cool, keep safe, and I'll catch you around. Goodbye.